Hey, pod people. I'm Nathan Frazier, creator of Podcast Blast Off, and today I'm going to teach you how to create an audio file for your podcast that is small on size, but big on audio quality. Before I get into that, though, I did want to let you know about our new course, Pre-Launch Secrets, the top five secrets you need to know before launching your podcast. You can enroll for free by clicking the link below. Hope to see you there. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's find the file we're going to work with today. It is Anarchopreneur Episode 1. As you can see, I did output it as an AIFF file at 16 bits and a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz. For a one-hour-long episode, it ended up being 705 megabytes, which is just insanely big. So I'm going to show you how I get a big file like this shrunk down in file size without compromising the audio quality. I'm going to go ahead and open up iTunes and go into my iTunes preferences over here. I want to go to my import settings and make sure that it's on MP3 encoder. And I'm going to go to the settings and I'm going to set customs. I'm going to make sure that my stereo bit rate is 128 kbps. You could probably get away with 96, but I stick with 128 Make sure that you stay at 44.1 kilohertz. And for the channels, I would recommend just going with mono. You don't need stereo for a podcast. Mono is just fine. Plus, mono cuts down the file size in half. So select mono, hit OK, OK, and OK. I'm going to go ahead and grab this audio file and pull it into iTunes. Okay, so now that the file has been imported into iTunes, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the title. And if you followed the instructions earlier on how to set up your import settings, if you hit Create MP3 version right now, those settings will be applied to a new MP3 version of your podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now iTunes has created an MP3 version of our audio file. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to hit show in finder and that brings up our audio file and let's just do a quick comparison real quick the AIF file that we started out with was 705 megabytes the mp3 file is 32 megabytes that's a giant dramatic decrease in audio file size okay let's do a real quick audio check real fast first I'm going to try the AIFF file what up guys and girls and anarchopreneurs of all shapes, colors, and sizes. This is a little bit of something new. And now I'm going to try the MP3 file. What up, guys and girls and anarchopreneurs of all shapes, colors, and sizes. This is a little bit of something new. All right, and as you can tell, there is very little difference at all between the audio quality on the two files but a giant difference in file size, 32 megabytes for the MP3 versus 705 megabytes for the AIF file. Okay, follow these instructions every time you convert your podcast to MP3 and you will keep your file size down and your audio quality up. Before I'm out of here, I do want to remind you we have a free podcasting course available for you. Pre-launch secrets, the top five secrets you need to know before you launch your podcast over at podcastblastoff.com slash course or by clicking the link below. Peace out, pod people.